Hello, and welcome to the 357. My name is William Spear, and this is episode one of On a Frosty Day. The story is about an unnamed character whose daily ritual is interrupted. There are no warnings or explanations, only change. And now, episode one of On a Frosty Day. The sun shone with mid-morning brightness and sparkled on the reservoir. However, the coldness of the air reminded me of the lateness of the hour. I pulled my jacket close and looked around. I had explored from here 23,359 times wandered the landscape that extended in all directions. The journeys had been pleasant. Some were foggy, others were painful, but none had left any traces. All were behind me. But as I launched this new expedition, all from before rose up. Not half of them, or every third, not the Tuesdays or the Sundays, all of them. The landscape, a moment ago untouched and limitless, was now littered. Gone were the open territories, no journeys yet undiscovered, and, thank you, Mr. Frost, no roads not taken, and no paths not traveled. But there was a way forward. Blocked from going in a straight line, I cobbled a path of zigzags. Five steps sideways, two backwards, three forwards, sideways backwards, forwards, just like a crossword puzzle. I was nearly within reach of the reappeared journeys until the way was confronted by a fence and a sign, partly folded over, that read, Keep Out. You have just listened to episode one of On a Frosty Day. The opening and closing theme music was by Lexan Music. Interior music was by Nature's Eye. Both are at Pixabay. The 357 is written and produced by William Spear. Thank you for listening. (laughs) 